am Laurelyn Brinster here with Isabella Van Orden. Isabella, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Awesome. Are you excited tonight for the races here at the Orange County Fair Speedway? Yeah, I'm pretty excited. The last two races here, uh, we're really learning. So uh, hopefully we can uh, take all we got from the last two weeks and put it in here to win tonight. Great. How does it feel to be one of the two girls running in the rookie sportsman division here at the Orange County Fair Speedway? Uh, there's nothing really special. I mean, it's only just a gender. Uh, nothing really crazy or anything. Uh, just ready to go wide open, hopefully, and uh, be able to get a win, hopefully. That's a great attitude to have. Now, what kind of experience do you feel that you've gained here in the rookie sportsman division? Um, definitely with um, just about how the track is and how it uh, gets different throughout the night uh, and how tacky gets from the first week and how tacky it's going to get from the second week or uh, how uh, slick it's going to get from the first week and how much different it's slick it's going to be from the second week. So uh, just uh, trying to see what the track's going to do throughout the night and I hopefully hopefully it will get slick enough but we've got some rain coming I hope hopefully not but um, you're going to have to see what and wait it out. Definitely going to be a night where you have to adjust. Well, Isabella, thank you for taking the time to speak with us tonight. Van Orden shows the way, knows that time is winding down. Right there rides Madsen. Madsen will try everything in the book. Madsen runs the high side, so does Van Orden. Now to turn number two, down the back straightaway. The gap gets there. The white flag gets set to fly. Madsen on the outside this time. Madsen up to the high side. Watch him out of turn number four. The white flag flies. Last lap racing action. Van Orden fails to be intimidated. Van Doorn tucks it in, center lines it down there through turns, number one and two. Madsen fumbling through the glove compartment, looking for the rabbit's foot. He knows he's only got two more flicks in the wrist of a checkered flag. Down the back straightaway, Isabella Van Doorn could see her first checkered flag ever in the history of the Orange County Speedway. 14-year-old gal from Port Jervis, and she will win the feature event tonight. Isabella Van Doorn, I'll tell you what, what a show this gal put on here tonight in a rookie sportsman car faster than the sportsman feature would have turned. Did it look, did it feel as good as it looked out there tonight? Yeah, this high side around this place is pretty gnarly. Uh, just like Jared say, this place is about wide open. So uh, it, it, this place is very fun to race in. So I uh, just can't thank everybody in enough. My father, you know, we, I couldn't do it without him. Uh, just late nights in the shop, it's just all work together with, you know, all night, all day, it's just, amazing I can't think I'm enough you know you had a lot of fun nights at smaller tracks like Accord but did you ever think a feature win like this would come so soon no I thought you know a little in the middle of the season it would come along but uh this car was just on rails tonight and I can't think I'm enough you certainly made Jimmy Johnson proud this was his old ride from uh, the season past and like he said it's a lot of good equipment there good equipment that always mean a feature event finish you took a good driver behind the wheel congratulations on a drive well done thank you Isabella Van Orden from nearby Port Jervis, New York, 14-year-old young gal, and she is in victory lane tonight for the Rookie Sportsman Division. Great job that she did. A very uh, top-notch piece of equipment.